Whee! Oh my goodness. In this video, I grapple with Jay, a judoka. This was a BJJ class, so yes, he is trained in BJJ as well. I also have some knowledge in judo, but I have more experience in BJJ than Jay and vice versa. His judo experience is far greater than mine. So I controlled his left wrist here with a two-on-one baseball grip, pulling his left arm down to get his weight shifted to that lead leg, but also so that he would try to pull back opening up his lower body. When he did pull back, I shot for an Imanari roll, diving onto my right shoulder and hooking onto his left leg. I quickly transitioned into K-guard where I hooked my right ankle on top of his left hip and my shin across his left thigh. With my grip on his knee, I ripped it to my left to turn him away, then chopped down behind his knee with my left leg so I could take his back. This is what I was trying to do. However, Jay spun clockwise to defend and we ended up in the 50-50 position. I used my right hand to pull his left knee towards me and attacked for his heel before he attacked for mine and I got the tap. We reset, Jay gets a collar tie and wrist control, then switches from the collar tie to underhook at the same time he stepped his rear leg parallel to my right leg so that he was directly in front of me. Then he shot his hips in and sent me for a ride. I did not expect the throw coming as usually or at least to my knowledge, you get the wrist control and underhook, then you go for the throw. Whereas he transitioned to the underhook at the same time he went for the throw, so I thought that was pretty cool. So Jay now has top side control. I framed on his hip with my right hand, shrimped to create space and kicked my left leg over shoulder. We call this a high leg, a guard retention technique. I dug my leg onto his back, which gave me the leverage to pull my right leg out underneath to regain my guard. Here, as Jay was looking to pass my guard, I reached for his right tricep with my right hand and performed an arm drag, pulling him to my right as I reached for his back with my left arm. I tried to take his back, but Jay turned his back to the mat to defend the back take. So I landed in the headquarter position where my right knee was in between Jay's two legs. I tried to push his left knee down into a back step to get into the saddle position, but Jay blocked it with his left leg. This is what I was trying to do. So Jay is now lying on his left side hip. You can't see from this angle, but I have my left arm behind his right thigh and through to the top of his left knee. This staples his right knee to the ground, keeping him on his side. I then started sprawling slash freeing my legs towards my right as I used my right arm to cross face, turning his face to the opposite direction. So his head was turning to his right as his right knee was turning to his left. This makes him feel very un uncomfortable because he's all twisted up. I landed to side control and transitioned into reverse kesakatami, where I went belly up but my hips were facing Jay's legs. I found the right time to step my left leg over to mount. Now if you guys didn't know, I did get my BJJ black belt. I'm not just a striker but a grappler too. If you guys are interested in learning striking and or grappling, check out my membership program called the MMA GO. When you enter the membership, you will automatically be subscribed to receive two unique striking and two unique grappling classes a week plus a bonus video that makes 20 unique and brand new follow along classes every month. Check out the program in the description box below. So here I slid my right knee over Jay's right shoulder, scooped under his head with my right arm, then kicked my left leg under his right arm and over his shoulder. To get the triangle, we need one arm in and one arm out. I then leaned towards my left and posted on my left hand to create space for my left foot to connect under my right knee to close the triangle. I had to keep adjusting until I was able to close it. Once I closed the triangle, I pulled his head up as I flexed my legs to get the tap. We reset. Jay goes for a cool outside leg trip as he pushes my hips to the floor, but I was able to pull my leg free and circle to take his back. A great way to finish the choke is by using your underhook arm to control the wrist of your opponent's wrist, then start attacking with your right arm. And once you have the crook of your elbow in the middle of your opponent's throat, you can release the wrist and lock up the rear naked choke. We reset again. Jay gets wrist control and the underhook and goes for an Uchimata this time. This time, he stepped his right leg in between my two feet, pushed off that leg as he replaced his right leg with his left leg, 
and kicked his right leg up in between my two legs. Again, he sent me flying. The issue with judokas is that they overcommit on their throws. Here, Jay overcommitted and I was able to get under him. I hooked his left leg with my right arm and did the same transition into K-guard, then chopped my left leg behind his left knee. But this time, Jay didn't turn clockwise and I was able to take his back. This time, not only was I able to control his left wrist with my underhook arm, but I was able to kick my top leg over his shoulder and trap his arm. Now he has no arm to protect his neck and I was able to finish the one arm choke. And we reset. Jay gets me with a nice outside leg trip here by hooking his right leg and pushing forward with the collar tie. And this is what I was saying earlier about the high leg. Jay pulls my left leg to his left to pass my guard, but I kicked my right leg over to his back slash shoulder, stepped on it to pull my left leg back in front of me. I transitioned into K guard again, except on my left side this time. As I attacked for the heel hook, Jay was able to push away and free his knee line. So I bailed on the heel hook and got on top. I got back into the headquarter position with my knee in between his two legs. And from here, I got my right underhook. I worked my way into the knee cut pass. Notice I pulled up his right elbow with my left arm to finish the pass. I transitioned to knee on belly and windshield wiped my leg over to mount and that's the end of the round. I hope you guys enjoyed this BGJ versus Judo breakdown. Comment below if you guys would like to see more grappling videos. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, turn on that notification button and subscribe if you haven't already.